before Dad left us, he and I were talking about uh, doing a trip down to Bonneville. It's kind of on both of our bucket lists. I've kind of changed my uh, plan a little bit. There's some things I want to see in Southern California. So I'm thinking I'll rather go to uh, El Mirage Dry Lake Bend. Which has a similar setup. It's the same, uh, it's also the same uh, speed authority or SCTA timing association as Bonneville. But uh, the other things that I want to see there are uh, Victorville, where they store planes, commercial and military, I think. Also, Edwards Air Force Base is in the Mojave Desert there. So all around where I want to go, uh, and also in the Mojave Desert is some of the towns and whatnot that Frank Zappa grew up in, like Lancaster. And even though I've been told even though I've been told to fuck all around Lancaster, I think there might be Gila monsters down there, which is the only poisonous uh, lizard. Venomous, I guess it would be. And probably Rattlesnake City as well. But anyway, yeah, I was thinking, uh, well, the, the COVID has fucked it up and I don't have the funds right now anyway, but my plan would be to fly down to Vegas, which I do not intend to spend a goddamn minute longer than I have to. That's purely just because it's kind of central to where I'm going. It's a couple of hour drive southwest of Vegas to get to where I'm going. Um, there's also sections of Route 66 that I want to check out through Baker. Um, well, and that's the other connection too. Uh, this whole California route to go to Vegas is also uh, here in Loathing Territory, uh, Baker and Barstow and Purdue. So a lot of uh, you know cultural iconic references. Some of my favorite writers, favorite musicians, all kind of from that area. But anyway, yeah, I would fly to Vegas, get a rental car immediately. Uh, I would be trying to land midday kind of thing. And there are some flights that'll do that. And then uh, get my ass to Victorville. Spend a day or two in all these other places. Then go up to see two days or so of the uh, land speed stuff. And then slowly make my way back and uh, fly back to Vancouver. The other way, that's a pretty cheap way because there's a lot of cheap flights to Vegas. Vegas is one of the cheaper places to fly. And uh, there was uh, one a week uh, direct from here to Vegas, but it got in at like 5 p.m. or something like that. That doesn't do me any good. That would mean I have to spend one night in Vegas, and that's that's overrated for me. I might have to spend the last night there just so I'm close to the airport. The other way to do it is to fly from Vancouver or Calgary to uh, John Wayne Airport in Orange County and then drive from there. It's a little bit less of a drive, but you have to drive through LA. So that's a little bit more. Well, I suppose I'm going to have to drive through some of Vegas to get out. But the drive through LA, I've been on that drive. Um, it's when I was there with mom and the kids. Um, and we went to Disneyland. We flew into John Wayne. And I, had a, I got a taxi or an Uber to take me up to Pomona 
to go to the uh, National Hot Rod Association um, Drag Racing Museum, Motorsport Museum, Wally Parks Motorsport. Wally Parks was the creator of the NHRA and uh, so yeah, named after him. When you get an NHRA uh, drag racing award, it, it is Wally Parks. It is the Wally Parks award, which is pretty cool. In the museum, they had a huge, like, bigger than life size uh, rendition of that trophy. It's got like a racing slick or something. section of videos for sure. I'm sure I'd have to get the workflow going because you don't want, if you're filming all day, you don't want that shit to build up. Because when you get home it'll take you a week, easily a week to fucking go through all that. I like to go back to the hotel, take the day's footage, put it into some half-ass routine, kind of like I do when I go to Ontario. release some of the footage like as time goes on you know while I'm still there as opposed to uh, it all coming out when I come back anyway I don't know maybe next year